got to stand against this, man. Come on. You got to help us, bro. Praise God. He is uh, doing his normal thing, going, uh, he's going to break the unconstitutional buffer zone. It's unconstitutional. It's a complete attack on our First Amendment right and our religious beliefs, our right to uh, be heard, our right to operate on public property. That five foot zone takes away a good portion of our sidewalk we can minister off of and preach inside the gate. And so, all for their protection. They've got cops that sit inside here every week, protect baby murder, all in the name of safety, while they allow the uh, serial killer to go inside and kill babies. And they don't do anything about that. And they don't do anything about these baby murder enablers uh, called descorts who uh, escort mothers in to curse their children to death. Now, God's going to curse them with hellfire and damnation. That's what God's going to do to them. And so, no, praise God. Praise God. Uh, some men of God will, uh, who are filled with the Holy Ghost and boldness will come out here week in, week out, preach the Word of God. And praise God, you know, God put this in Nick's heart to do. He's doing it because he loves God. He's doing it because he cares about these babies. He's doing it because he, it's unconstitutional. It's illegal. And so God has asked him to do this, and so that's why he's doing it. So praise God. I'm being supportive. Shame on you, pig. Shame on you, piece of trash. Wicked. But, uh... So praise the Lord, you know, praise God for this brother. Praise God that he's stepping up. God asked him to step up and do, do it, and he's doing it. And he's been faithful to do it week after week. And we got this federal, uh, federal injunction to remove the buffer zone going on right now. They heard these things out in court the other day, and, and so the judge wanted a couple days to make a decision. And if... Uh, if she'll do the right thing, she'll remove the whole thing altogether. She'll remove it. And, uh, you know, because Nick hasn't done anything. These uh, it, it, these are not even arrestable offenses, actually. This, this is the same type of offense that's likened to somebody riding down a sidewalk at night with their bike without a blinking light on it. It's not an arrestable offense. And so all these arrests are illegal arrests which, of course, is going to be argued in court and everything like that. But, you know, just keep it all in prayer, guys. Keep uh, keep these things in prayer. You know, God confounds the wisdom of the wise. God confounds people and their doctrine all the time, too. Because a lot of people are against what we're doing. Instead of, instead of uh, rejoicing, instead of praying, instead of, uh, you know, being glad and praising God, uh, what do they do? They come against it. You know, it's just it's the normal thing. People always want to come against 
of what God's doing. They always want to put their mouth on it uh, just because they don't like the tone or they don't like the delivery or they don't like how somebody does something. You know, he always confounds people in their, their high-mindedness and their doctrines and their criticisms. He makes them look stupid is what he does. He makes them look real stupid. And that's what God's going to fix to do through all this. He's going to make a lot of people who run their mouth look really stupid. That's what he's going to do. So praise God. He'll be exalted in this. And he'll be exalted from confounding the wise. And uh, he'll be exalted in uh, taking the high-minded in doctrine and bringing them low and having to re go ahead and reassert and rethink how they interpret Scripture. Because uh, we ought to obey God rather than men. Everybody who wants to tiptoe and sugarfoot and, and be and be a little pacifist when it comes to dealing with police and, and, and bow their knee to everything the police do and say, uh, to me, you're just you're just a fool is what you are. I think you're stupid. I think you should wisen up. I think you should grow a pair and, and be a man and be strong and trust your God. Open thy mouth and judge right. That's right. So praise the Lord. Praise the praise the living God. God, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let all that hate all them that hate him flee from before thee. And that's 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 our enemies. That's all their that's all of our enemies who speak against us in our church. And that's all these wicked uh, workers of iniquity. Who do that which is evil. And that's all these unjust pigs, because that's what they are. Unjust pigs, corrupt police officers all throughout this nation who need more Christians to hold them accountable to the oath that they break. They need to be held accountable for the oath that they have they have break, the covenant that they break. God says covenant breakers are worthy of death. And they need to know that. And I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll be the one to tell them that. I'm not afraid to tell them what, what the truth is. Just because they hold a some type of position of power, which they think they do. They don't. They're just a public servant. They're nothing more, nothing less. They work for us. They work for the people. And they're supposed to be, and if you want to hold the whole Romans 13 argument to them, they're supposed to be a terror to the evildoer, not to the good. They bear the sword in vain. And they need to know that. And they need to be withstood. And they need to be opposed. And we ought not to tiptoe around with police officers. Know the law. Know your rights. Stand for them. And stand upon the word of God. And stand for righteousness. They kill babies there. Well, be careful. Yeah, they kill babies there. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, you come through. They kill babies there. That's what's going on here. It's not okay. It's not okay. That's, that's what this nation allows, man. Well, that's what the, that's what a lot of people say they believe in Jesus, but absolutely, that's that's the problem. We got a lot of people in this nation who say they believe in Jesus, they say they love God, but they don't obey God, and that's why this goes on. That's why this goes on here. That's why these things happen, because people don't actually believe what the Bible says. They don't obey the Bible. You got a guy coming in. You can come talk to me though. Get right with God, you child of the devil, the enemy of God. God's gonna put you in hell fire. God's gonna put you into hell fire. You better fear God. You better turn from your sin. You better turn from your sin. Yeah, so that's that's what it is, man. It's is we've got a lot of people that they say they hold to this word, but they don't obey this word. If they're truly born again. Then they'll do what this word says. Absolutely. Are you born again? I was. I was. I just went to my pilgrim. Uh, I just did my pilgrim in Jerusalem, man. I got baptized all over again in Jerusalem. You got baptized. Yeah. In Jordan. And you're living. You're living for Jesus. Absolutely. Amen. Praise God. Well, what's your name, man? Nick. Nick, I'm Al. Yeah, we encourage you to come out here and stand with us, Nick. Actually, I had no idea. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. You know, most people don't work on Saturdays. Yeah. So every Saturday we come out here at 8:30. 
stand out here until whatever. You don't have to say anything, but we just encourage you to hold a sign and stand with what's right. You did a wrestling? Yeah, yeah, it's an unconstitutional buffer zone. So that's what I was just talking about. Uh, so. But they're violating his rights. Yeah, I know. And it's not even a wrestlable offense. So why do you even buck them then? Well, because that's an unconstitutional buffer zone. Uh, it's a uh, statute that they established just for us. And uh, so what he's doing, because he knows it's unconstitutional, is he's breaking that, that unconstitutional ordinance every week. So he's getting arrested every week. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is crazy. Well, our nation's crazy. Our nation is full of churches, but it's full of baby's blood, just like this picture right here. And like all these other pictures, you know, the police stand in the gate of murder. The police, they're supposed to be, the Bible says in Romans 13, they're supposed to be a terror to the evildoer. They should be arresting the serial killer killing children, not Christians who are preaching the gospel on a public sidewalk. So the Bible says in Isaiah 5, I don't know if you've read it before, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. And that's what we do in this nation. We call evil good. We call this health care, we call that good, but it's evil. And they and we call what is right, which is preaching the gospel, standing for righteousness, rebuking sin, urging people to repent, warning them of the judgment of God, telling them about Jesus Christ. We call that evil today. So, Nick, right? Let this be a wake-up call to you, man. Uh, you know, I'd like to give you a, I want to see if I can go get across the street real quick and get you a, we go to church in Newport, Richie, and uh, really this is all of us out here, this is most of the people in our church right here. I actually go to church in Tarpon. Okay. Yeah, St. Nicholas Church in Tarpon. Okay, well I would, uh, I'd encourage you to come visit sometime, but we, we come out here every Saturday and uh, we stand for what's right, man. This is wicked. My wife was coming to support with me. Yeah, we want. Uh, you see, the adults have a choice. The kids don't have a choice. Exactly. 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 The kid is innocent. If they don't want the kid, so they murder him. Because why? Because it's it's easy. It's a convenience. And we're so wicked as a people that we we just. We just go along and do it. You know, it, this you know this uh, is so wicked that God, Bible says, and uh, the Bible says that these things never came in, even into the mind of God. That's how wicked these things are. Never came even into his heart that people would do this to children. When it talks about child sacrifice all throughout the Old Testament, yeah. it says that these things never even came into the mind of God. That's how wicked this is. So like I say, hey, Brother Victor, I need a card. All right, all right. Is that okay? Yeah, you come find him. I'll be right. He's waiting for him to leave. So they arrest him every every Saturday? Because, well, as long as they have that buffer zone up, that's what God laid on his heart to do. God laid it on his heart to go and oppose what is unconstitutional. He could have asked any one of us to do it. We would have gladly done it. He asked them to do it. But he does it every week. And, uh, here, here comes my pastor right now. But, yeah, man, uh, I'll, I'll just give you a, a card. And, uh, it's got our church address and phone number on it. Yeah, man, uh, it's, 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 it's sobering. It's very sobering. It's a wake-up call. It's... So, so you're distracted with football, of dancing with the yeah, stars, exactly, and the Kardashians. Exactly. And not paying attention. What, wow. Where's their mind at? They're too busy watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Yeah, I know. I know. Pastor Victor, please to meet you. Can you uh, give me that? Thank you so much. I appreciate it, sir. Hey, man. You know, we encourage you to come out. We encourage you to come out. We're out here, like I said, every Saturday at 830. Good work, gentlemen. Thank you. Okay. We need you to help. We need you to stand out here, man. Definitely make it next week with the wife. Okay, okay. man. Okay. God Thank bless you so much. God bless. Thank you so much. You. Thank you. We need your help, man. We need your help. This is wicked.